This video describes the time series baseline plot that's been added to Stack Graphics 18. The time series baseline plot is used to plot sequential time series data when we wish to highlight times when the data are either above an upper limit or below a lower limit. Here you see a plot of the Oceanic Nino Index plotted monthly beginning in January 1950. When the index is above 0.5, it indicates the occurrence of an El Nino. When the index is below minus 0.5, that's a La Nina. I've loaded into the Stack Graphics 18 data sheet data on the ONI for the months January 1950 through May 2017. To create the baseline plot, I'll go to the top menu to Plot, Time Sequence Plots, Baseline Plot. The data to be plotted are in a column called ONI. The time indices are in a column called Month. On the Analysis Options dialog box, I need to make a couple important settings. First off, I need to tell it where the baseline is. That's the middle line of the plot. What the lower limit is and what the upper limit is. Turns out in this case, the defaults are just what I want. I'm also going to tell it I wish to color the lines. That means it will color lines in the upper area differently than in the lower area, differently than in the central area. When I press OK, you'll see the ONI plot. There's a table with colored values showing whether you're below, within, or above the limits, and also the initial pass on a baseline plot. I'm now going to fix my baseline plot and make it more like I'd like it to look. First off, I'm going to drag it up to the upper left corner and stretch it out a little bit so it uses more of my space. I'll then press the right mouse button, go to Graphics Options, and change the Y axis. I'd like it to go from minus 3 to plus 3 by 1. When you change the axes, you should always be sure to set the radio button hold scaling constant if you want to keep that scale. Press OK and you can see the changes. Now let's work on the shaded areas. Press the right mouse button and select graphics options. I'll select the tab for fills. Fill set 1 I'm going to make red. Fill set 2 can be a nice blue. I then also want to set the lines. Line type 1 is in the lower section. I'll set that to a blue. Line type 2 is for the upper section. I'm going to set that to red. Line type 3 is for the center line. That can be anything I want it to be. Line type 4 is for the central ups and downs, and I'm going to pick a nice green for that. Now I have much more of the plot that I was looking for. Incidentally, once you've set your colors and styles the way you want them for a particular plot, you can push the right mouse button, go to Graphics Options, and select the Profile tab. If you pick one of the user profiles, I'll pick user number 9, and then click Save As, you can name it, for example, Baseline Plot. Push OK, and it'll save those settings in a profile. The next time you want to create a baseline plot, it's easy to recover those colors. Let's go ahead and say Plot, Time Sequence Plots, Baseline Plot. We'll do the same plot, ONI versus month. 
Set the same analysis options, space lines, limits, and tell it we'd like to color the lines. Now you'll see though it comes out with the old default colors. All I need to do now though is push the right mouse button, go to graphics options, select profile. I'll go down and pick my baseline plot and say load. And now you can see I've got the reds, the greens, and the blues that I want.